What's up? This is Hobo Basis, recording this video for about the 200th time because uh, batteries don't seem to like me with my camera, so I'm recording from my iPhone now, which I just got a week ago and I am very happy with as opposed to my piece of junk from before. Alright, so, uh, <laughs> uh, I've had a lot of requests in the last couple of weeks, for, especially the last few days, for the tabs for my Solo and the Time of Dying cover. So, I tabbed it out. It is in the description for the original video as well as for this video. I saved it as a Guitar Pro 4 file and a PDF. I don't know if it works in Guitar Pro 4. It was a render down from the 5 version. Um, so, hopefully that works for you guys. I've got... Uh, that's pretty much it, really. Uh, I am back in my room now, I'm home on Christmas vacation. So, uh, I figured I'd do a, less, a lesson video as well, since I know some people do better with videos than just looking at tabs. Also, I can explain some of the technique things, you know, why some of the tabs are the way they are. So, uh, let's get started. Oh, that was weird. Um, so we're going to start with the, uh, 10th fret on the 1st string, the 13th fret on the 2nd string, we're in drop C, by the way. If you've gotten through the song this far and you haven't figured that out, I'd like to know what you did. Uh, we are in drop C, so 10th uh, fret on the 1st string, 13th fret on the 2nd string. We're going to bend the 2nd string up to meet the, to meet the pitch of the 1st uh, string. And then, uh, ending that measure, we have a, so that was a 7, flat 7 to 1, I'll throw a little bit of theory in there. Uh, now we're going to do a sweep, also based on that one that we just raised it to. Uh, starting from the 5 of the arpeggio below it. So the, the fret numbers for that are uh, starting 3rd string to 1st string. Uh, 14, 15, 13, and then we add the 17 on the upstroke. And then once we get to the top of that sweep, we're going to hit the 17 again, slide up to 18, and hit the 15th fret. So, so uh, after that we're going to do that same sweep again. This time, we're going to pull off to 13, and then hit the 15 on the 2nd string. Roll back to the 15 on the 1st string, pull off, and then hit the 15 on the 2nd string again. So. so, what we've got so far, slow down. So there's the first, I guess, little section. Uh, ending off that bar, uh, we go down to the third string. We're going to be working with all uh, lower pitch strings. I hate that. Try to say lower, anyway. Yeah, lower pitch, lower strings. Stupid system. Uh, so we're going to be working with the lower end strings. And uh, so on the third string, going to 14, 14, 15, 17, and then you're going to pull them back off, so, and then 15 on the 4th string, so, now we're going to roll back up to the 15 on the 3rd uh, string, 15, 14, pull off, and then land your finger on the 4th string so that you can roll down to the 5th on the 15. Those are both going to be the same fret. And also there I keep it one, an upstroke motion. Sweeping motion going up in an upstroke direction. Uh, and then we have, we go back up to the fourth string, 15, 14, 15, 17. Kind of a delayed slide on that. So everything put together so far. Sorry, I forgot how far I went with you. 
guys already. <laughs> All right. Now the next part is more what I want to do the video for. Uh, everything involving the second string for this next part is going to be on the 13th fret, so I don't have to keep repeating that. Uh, and what I'm doing is it's a uh, mix. I do a lot of alternatives picking. It's kind of like a mix between sweeping and alternate, but not not necessarily sweeping because I do. For anybody who doesn't know, alternative sweep, alternative picking is when you don't always have a consistent down up uh, pick picking motion. And I have a lot of things where I'll if I have strings going downwards in a downstroke motion, I'll repeat a downstroke going at kinda like I do it inside the bar. Down, up, down, down. Even though they are individual strokes. But here it's gonna be more like a sweep. Uh, we're gonna go once again from the thirteenth fret on the second string. We're going to be going up first off to the uh, the 17th fret, and it's going to be a triplet. And on the second downstroke, you're going to make that downstroke also the downstroke for the next note. Uh, try to make it one smooth motion. It takes a while to get this down. I still don't have it down perfect myself. I haven't played this in a while, so I haven't had much use for it lately. Although it is kind of cool using solos, but uh, improv. And then it's just going back and forth between that note, between the first string and the second string, and kind of like sets of three. And my usual habit here, kind of alternative picking coming out again. Down, up, down, down, up, down. And that doesn't have to be a s smooth motion. Now we're going to go down to the 15th fret. And then we're going to do that same thing again. Now, the problem here is, what the way I did it in the video originally, and what caused me some issues, is that I was doing the alternative picking. And if you can do alternate picking, when you switch down to 14, it'll help because you'll have... Down, up, down, up, down, up. So then you're in the up position to start your downward triplet instead of going down and then having to do a triplet right after that. Not only having to do two downs in a row, but the second one has to be fast. So, down, up, coming from the outside. Triplet. And sweep it to the high string again. And then we're going to do the same thing uh, going from 15th fret to uh, 13th to 12th, back to 13th. 13th, 12th. And when I switch up to the 12th, I'll let my middle finger take over, holding that pedal note on the 13th fret of the second string. So that whole section right there slowed down. And then finishing out the solo, it's pretty simple after that. Uh, first string, uh, 13, 12, 13. We're going to slide up to 18, 17, and then 18 on the second string. Hit that with your third finger so you can do the bend that's coming up. And then we're going to do like that bend that we did at the beginning here. The same basic concept. Uh, first finger on the 15th this time. Third finger on the 18th. And we're going to do it a couple times. Then just first string. And both again. So... slide off back into the song. So I'll play the whole solo for you slowed down one more time and that should be it. Take two.
solo for Time of Dying. So, uh, I'll see you. I might do a couple more lesson videos here soon, so hope it helps for some of you guys. Later.